Hey guys, we're gonna make a really super lazy dinner for my family who's autistic, food restricted, and all kinds of other crazy things. And I haven't, I haven't slept in like three days, so we're gonna make a really lazy dinner and I'm gonna bring you guys along to show you what my family eats with different food issues and autism. So we're gonna need some chicken. I'm just using frozen chicken, just whatever I have left. I don't eat chicken. My kids aren't gonna eat this, so only my husband will eating, be eating the chicken portion of what's in the crock pot. Um, so we don't have a whole lot, but you can make it with more. Salt, pepper, we need some sun-dried tomatoes, some garlic, some olive oil, some spinach, and some cream. And then if you like cheese, you want to add cheese. Some people don't like cheese. Um, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese on top, but that's still in the fridge. So what we're going to do is we are going to start by just putting a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the crock pot. This is the Ninja Foodie crock pot that my husband got me for Christmas, and I love it. So we're just gonna put our frozen chicken in here, like so. I've got, I don't even know what this counts as, but we'll leave it in there. Okay, we're gonna salt and pepper these guys up. Um, I don't even know, you probably can't see in there, but let me just show you three different size things going on in there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, big, small, medium, really small, extra small. So anyway, that's what's going on in there. Okay, we're going to do salt and pepper. Our pepper grinder's broken. It's supposed to be automatic. You have to actually touch the top, but the salt still works. So. All right, I'm gonna take the garlic. like you like in here just you know the whole jar if you want whatever however much you want and then we are going to take the sun-dried tomatoes now we usually use sun-dried tomatoes in the oil but um, one of the discount stores by us you can get this thing open. one of the discount stores I think I broke my teeth on that was selling them like this so I'm probably gonna chop them up Ooh chop them up. One of the discount stores was selling them like this, but we usually buy them in the oil. So, I don't know, these are huge. Should I chop them up or should I just like, I feel like I need to chop those up. Chopped them up a little bit, so they're still excessively large, but it's gonna work. Um, so we're just gonna throw those in there. Uh, and my dog ate one while I was chopping them up. So if he dies tonight, it's his own fault. Told him not to eat it. And that's it for now. You can add basil and Italian seasoning, whatever else you want in there, but that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna cook this on high for like, not very long, though, like an hour until everything's cooked through. And then we'll be back to finish it off. I have the air fryer out. We're gonna be doing a hodgepodge of different things. So I got these little air fryer liners, which I think I actually bought off the TikTok shop before you can make like videos of things on the TikTok shop. I don't know. I can find them again. I guess I'll link them, but I didn't like get them, like a bottom myself. I didn't get them to make them or anything. Um, I'm throwing a couple of chicken nuggets in here. We're gonna throw some chicken nuggets in. We're gonna throw some french fries in. Maddie and Kaylee will eat the chicken nuggets. Maddie and Evie will eat the french fries. Kaylee will not eat the french fries. Evie will not eat the chicken nuggets. Then, um, everybody will eat strawberries. So all three will be getting strawberries. Madeline also requested a soft pretzel. Madeline and Kaylee will eat pineapple. Everly will not eat pineapple, but she will eat um, strawberry or she'll eat the strawberries and she'll eat the blueberries. Um, so I'll put some blueberries on her plate and all three kids have agreed to try canned corn today. So we're going to be adding canned corn and seeing if any of them like the canned corn. I'm not hopeful, but we're going to try it. So we're going to add it on there and they've all agreed to try it. So wish us luck with that. Alrighty. So they have their corn over there. I put them into separate bowls so it's not touching their safe food plates. So this is Madeline. This is Kaylee. And this is Everly. So consensus on the corn was they did not like the corn. So nobody ate it. They did play a game with it, tried to make it fun, but nobody liked it. Okay, now the kids are eating. I forgot to cut up the pineapple. They haven't yelled at me yet, but I forgot to do it. So we're gonna add in some heavy, woo, heavy cream. Um, just enough to kind of like cover all the tomatoes that are in the bottom. Just make a creamy sauce out of that. You can add as little as, or as much as you want. You can also add in some like chicken broth or stock if you want. Um, and then we're just gonna add in a bunch of, of uh, spinach. 
So we'll add in spinach. This is just leftover spinach from a different meal that I made and we're just gonna let that kinda simmer down and uh, steam the spinach until we can mix it in. Here is Kaylee's plate. Here's what's left of Evie's plate. And Madeline said her belly hurts. So that's it. All right, that is all the spinach is all steamed like this. So now we're just going to add in some Parmesan cheese at the end to thicken it up. If you don't want it to be thickened, you don't have to do that. But we like to do that because we like cheese. We like cheese, so cheese is going in. So here's what this turns out looking like. And if you added it into the crock pot with the oil from the tomatoes, this would turn out a little bit more orange than cream colored. So if you did that, that's why. Yeah. All right, so here's how this turned out with corn. Here's mine with pasta and some extra cheese on top. And I don't eat the chicken. <laughs>